these are not your average fitness trackers. Nervy insoles make any running shoe smart to coach you towards a faster, healthier run. admit I took this review on for selfish reasons. Of course, I want to help you decide if they're right for you, but I'm a runner and I've been experiencing a lot of knee pain, so I wanted to see if the Nervi would help me solve it. Now there's two parts to the equation. There's the insole part, which houses all the sensors, 32 to be exact, and then the two trackers, one for each shoe that clip onto the side. Now all of this combined works together to paint a very complete picture of what's going on with every step that you take. And of course, that information is fed live to the app. The setup itself is pretty seamless. You slip them under the insoles of your favorite running shoes and clip the sensors to the sides. I was worried about running with all that extra hardware on my feet, but I was able to forget about it after a while except for the times when the trackers came loose, which did happen. You have to secure them before every run because the clips are hard to maneuver once your foot is in the shoe and you don't want those things flapping around. They will hold up to the elements, so mud, rain, and sweat are good to go. In theory, you should get about five consecutive hours of runtime, but I can't vouch for that because most of my runs have been about 30 minutes, and I've been able to get about four of those in before having to charge. Once everything is in place and you've turned on your trackers, you can pair them to the Nervi app, which may take a minute. Then test them out. It's pretty cool to see every little sensor light up as you move around. Then you're ready to roll and you have a couple of options to do this. You can start a run directly on the app if you're planning to take your phone with you, send it to your smartwatch, which only worked half the time on my Apple Watch, but it's also compatible with a bunch of other sports watches, or ditch both entirely and start a run directly from the trackers. During your run, you can see your standard metrics like pace, distance, heart rate, and elapsed time, but the real fun starts after your run. The app breaks down each run by performance using some key metrics like cadence, step length, pronation, and foot strike. These are things you definitely wouldn't be able to get on your average running watch. Click into each one to see a graph of all your data and an explanation of what that metric means, as well as ways to improve, both during and post run. I could use some work on all fronts, but the most interesting to me was my pronation information and foot strike balance, which shows what part of your foot you land on. I learned I was favoring my heel or rear foot a lot more and needed to even it out to reduce impact on my joints, aka my knees. It recommended a few strengthening exercises to improve this, as well as being aware of it during my run. Once you've logged about four runs, you can start doing coached runs for whatever your goal is. With enough runs, the app also gives you a running health score where you can check to see if all those tweaks are paying off. So in my case, things are definitely looking up. I haven't really worn these long enough to know whether or not they're gonna have long-term effects on my knee pain, although I have noticed a few improvements. But I think that the benefit really has been the action points, knowing what I can do to improve during a run and after a run, meaning strengthening those muscles and the types of exercises that I can do. I can also see this being really helpful for someone training for a race who needs to improve their time, for example. And if you are an avid runner, I would highly suggest checking them out.